Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mayor Royal and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. In this next tutorial, I want to show you a small and simple system to design all of the products for Redbubble. Now, I did have a tutorial like that before. I posted a tutorial about two weeks ago about my own personal way, how I do things, how I create seamless patterns, how I come up with the structure and what I want to do. And you can watch that video as well. I'm going to leave a link to that down below. But for now, for this video, I want to show you the easiest and simplest way. Do you see these designs? I just uploaded all of these designs onto my Redbubble account in the past two days. And all of these designs took me about four or five minutes to create the files for all of the different products. That means it's a simple and quick way to create really, really cute designs that would look good on a t-shirt, on a mug, as a sticker, and on the bigger products. Let me take you step by step how I started making these designs and how you can make them yourselves. Now, as I said, these take four to five minutes, but obviously it's going to take a bit longer for me because I have to design while explaining, and that takes a bit longer. And it might take a bit longer to you too at the beginning because you might just be getting started and you don't really know how to do it. But the more you do it, the more you get better at it. And in most of these designs, you can simply go back to a design you've just done, change the text a bit or change the color and you have a new one. So let's get started by going to canva.com, create a new design, custom sizes of 1000 by 1000 pixels. For those of you who are already using Redbubble, you know that 1000 by 1000 pixels is not enough for anything. But this is just the first step of this quick tutorial. What I will do right now is I will come up with something that I want to design. I want to do a simple like XOXO pattern with lips and hearts. Maybe not hearts. This is considered an evergreen design because people always love love. I'm not doing this for Valentine's Day because it's in three days and no way that someone will buy something right now from Redbubble to Valentine's Day. That would be like the worst husband ever. So what I will do now is go to Element and click Kiss. Check out those graphics for kisses. They are so pretty. However, they have a difference between them. Some of them are free and some of them are pro. Now the pro kisses, I can use them, I can place them, I can even download them because I'm a pro member on Canva and I can do that. However, with profiles, you have to check each individual designer for the commercial use license. And I don't want to start doing that, so I'm going to delete that. I'm going to go here to the menu and select only free kisses, as well as only static kisses because Canva also has animated GIFs. I got some questions where people asking me why do I still have a pro membership if I'm not using pro elements. There are two reasons for that. The first being is while I will not be using the pro element graphics to create any products to sell, I am using pro photos and pro videos for any number of things. You've seen some of these videos on my channel. I'm using some of the pro photos for mockups for Etsy and you can use them in a commercial way as long as you're not selling them on a product. So that would be the first reason. And the second reason is because often I upload some of my own designs, like this one over here, that I created my own watercolor flowers. And while creating this watercolor flower design or my cactuses or any other kind of design that I made, I like to use the Canva feature of downloading things with the transparent background. Back to our little kisses. We're going to apply these filters and only get the free kisses. As you can see here, we have so many different kisses that are free. However, some of them are kisses that I can edit the color and change it to whatever color that I want. And some of them are not. They just have one color. I think this one also has just one color. No, this one I can change. That's cool. Now, I want to make a blue design, so I'm going to choose something that I can change the colors of. And for this case, I'll change the brighter color to this blue and the darker color to the same blue, but darker. Maybe even make it more blue. 
let's try and fit the colors. Yeah. Then I'll enlarge it, take more space, and tilt it a bit. Make sure that it's centered. Duplicate the same kiss and change the colors. Now, while this one has a white background, this will have a black background. Maybe not that strong of a black. Let's go with 14414, which is a softer black. And I'll create another page. The background will be the light blue. And another page with the background being the dark blue. I'm going to go to text. Create a new text, write down XO, make it bigger, and change the font because I want this font to match, to look good with the kiss. So I'll just put the kiss quite quickly here so I can have a look at it while I'm doing my design. And I will choose a different font. Now, what I said about the graphics and the pro, it's pretty much the same with. Pro fonts, and you can recognize the pro fonts because they have this little crowns here. And while you might be able to use some of them, you have to check their individual licensing, which I really don't want to do right now. I think I'll go with Railway because it's one of my favorite fonts and it kind of looks like this kiss, so that's cool. And the back was light blue. Make this all the way over. So this to the other side. This is on 28, so let's do the same exact angle. And XO, copy paste it to the design below and color it in white. And what I'll do now is download these. On a PNG file, I don't need a transparent background for now, I'll just download them as they are. Now that the download is finished, I'll open the zip file and go back to Canva and create a 4000 by 4000 pixels design. And this will be the design that I will be uploading onto Redbubble. I'm going to go to Elements, scroll down to find grids, click on all of them, scroll all the way down, and check on the 4x4. Eliminate the spacing between them and take all of my four designs and drag them onto Canva. And what I will do now is I will start with one kiss. And this has a dark background color, so I'll choose the bright color of the XO, another kiss, and the other XO. And create my pattern on the other lines, always starting from the second photo. This way I have a cool cascading pattern and I will be using this pattern for the large product. However, I also have to make sure that I have good designs for the mug, for the t-shirt, and the stickers. And what I will do now is I'll go back here, grab my kisses, come to a new design, and grab the XO as well. I'll take one of these kisses, make it big, place it in the middle, and this would be the one for, if I'm not mistaken, the bright XO. Let me just continue writing XO here. I'm going to take this text, go to effects. Curve it just a little bit, make it bigger. 
center it on the center line of my design as big as I can. Take a small kiss, hold it here, delete it. Take this kiss above a bit. Duplicate this, reverse the colors, and make this white. What I will do now is that I want to create my stickers. These two designs will be for the t-shirts. I will show you later on how I do that and which do I put where. And now I need to make sure that I have good stickers. So for that, let me just copy one of those. Now I can just place one of these as a kiss, but I want people to get like a sticker set. This is really my thing. So what I will do is I will take one kiss, make sure I create them with enough space between them, because now that I will be using the transparent background feature, if someone's gonna order this, they will get two different kisses, two different stickers in one. We have to make sure that the spacing between them is enough so that the design is not going to come attached. And we also have to make sure that they're big enough. I have seen a lot of people who create sticker sets that touch each other and basically create this weird shape that people have to cut off at home. And I also saw a lot of people who create sticker sets with 10 different elements here, which means that the stickers that you get if you order the smaller size are going to be a quarter of an inch, which is ridiculous. So I'm just gonna put down these two, but I will take the XO with me. Just the black one. And put me this. And one like this. So if anybody orders this sticker set, they will basically have four stickers, the two XOs and the two kisses. Moving on, I think to my last product, I wanted to design the mugs. And for the mug, I have a cute little idea. I'm gonna grab these two together and group them so they don't move. And go to elements search for a square, grab a square, color it in the black color, make sure that it's on the center line here, exactly the center, all the way up to the top. I will take these kisses, make them a bit smaller, and place them in the middle here, exactly in the middle. Grab the square to the other side and copy paste this to the middle again. This time I'll change the color to white and I'll change the kiss colors as well. And now I think I am done. Let's just download them and go on to Redbubble and have some fun. I'll be downloading all of them with a transparent background, unzip them, and check to see if they look good. I just wanna make sure that it really came out with the transparent background, and it did. Let's go on to Redbubble, and I'll show you which one of these files I'm gonna choose for which one of the designs. Let's go on to uploading a new artwork, and select our file. I'll find it under my downloads. And I'll start with the cascading pattern because I'll be using it for most of my products. And for the rest of the products, I will just change to these files. Let me just fill in the titles and the tags real quick. Now let's move down and change some of the files for some of the other products. The large print clothing has only one white t-shirt and the rest are a bit dark. 
So for this, I'll be using the white XOXO. And for this, I'll be using the dark XOXO. Now, they're not going to look good on all of the colors, but that's just Redbubble for you. You can't deactivate a color. Sleeveless tops, we're going to continue on with the pattern. And I adore this pattern. I think it's so cute. This one is fine. This one, let's select this color to be visible first. Shirts, keep on the same. Same as for the dresses. Now, also make sure that you're not repeating the pattern too much because this might be too small. And let's just make it a bit bigger. Graphic tees will be like this as well. So will the dresses. And moving on to the stickers. You can leave it this way. I mean, this is also a cool sticker, but I like my stickers as a set. So I'll replace them for the design I made for the stickers. Phones. I'll leave them as a pattern. Phone wallets, I don't even need to touch them. We go back to our stickers and we make sure that they're not touching each other. If you see that these lines are touching each other, go back and redesign it, space it more. If the design is not perfect, it's not going to sell. And now for an interesting thing that I do with all of my designs, I usually go and choose the tote and pillows, the small pillows, and I choose one of the t-shirt designs for them, and the floor pillows I leave as a pattern. I have several blogs that I talk about home design, and in this way I basically create a set that people can purchase together and it really helped my sales. I do the same thing with these pillows. I also do the exact same thing with the notebook and journal and with the bath mat and shower curtain. So this will be like this. Prints and poster cards, I always change them to fit the one I did for the t-shirt because I want it to look nice on a card. Laptop skins. Shower curtains are going to be the pattern, which means that the bath mat will be the t shirt design. For the mugs, I can leave it this way. I mean, it looks cool, but I already have something in mind for the mugs. Let's just see if it looks good or not. Travel mugs are going to be with the pattern. Same as for the mini skirts. Now go back to the mug, and yeah, it looks kind of cool. Let's make sure that it looks a bit bigger here, maybe. More centered. Perfect. So this would be the mug. One side this way, one side this way. I like it. And moving on to the scarf, tablets, let's choose our pattern. Drawstring bag will have the black XOXO. Notebook will have the t-shirt design in white. And the hardcover journals would have the pattern. Clocks, hmm. Yes, I'll change this one as well. Don't forget to always go back and make sure that you've aligned everything to look good. Don't forget to align it. Obviously, you can edit it later, but why? Then you can just do it now and it would be cool. Our ball prints, I'll change the kiss, this one. And the acrylic blocks, I'll leave the same. Throw blankets and tapestries, obviously the pattern. And the bath mat would have the white one. Water bottles, patterned. Wooden canvas mounted prints, I like to make them patterned. I really do like them this way. I think they come out awesome on the bigger designs. 
make sure to change the color here. Yeah, maybe make it a bit smaller so it's not gonna go over the edges. Yep. The cotton bags would have a dark design, pin buttons, bright design, face masks, pattern. Now I also have two face masks, so one of them is going to be the pattern and the other one is going to be the XOXO. Maybe I'll change this one to the XOXO because it's easier to edit than the other one. And go back to edit these and make sure that the design is in the right size. Same goes for a little in, which we will make black. The aprons would have the pattern. Leggings would have the pattern as well. Maybe a bit bigger. Socks, obviously, we're going to choose the pattern. Same goes for both of the bags. And this face mask, which I will keep as a pattern, but I'll just make sure that there is a center here. Now I'm done. I'm going to save it as digital art with design and illustrations. I don't think I have a category for this because I just made this for this tutorial. And don't forget to mark that it's not nudity or lingerie and that you have the right to sell these products. And now I'm all done. And I really do love how these designs look on t-shirts and clothing items. The dresses look amazing. And of course the sets, I mean, come on, the notebook and the journal together, one with the single design and one with the pattern. The same with both of the pillows, the throw pillow and the floor pillow. And also the throw pillows are now matching with the blankets, which is really, really cool. And of course, we have the bath mat and shower curtain that also have these matching cute designs, as well as the mug and the tall takeaway mug. So that's kind of cool. Let me know what you thought about this design tutorial, if this is something that you want to do for yourselves. Also, let me know if there are other things you want me to talk about. Comment below if you want me to talk about marketing more, if you want me to talk more about the blogs that I'm using, if you have a different tutorial in mind that you want me to do, I will be happy to do this for you. This would be so, so cool for me. You can find links down below to a 30-day free trial with Pro Canva membership and also for the other tutorial that I made that is more complicated than this one. For those of you who are designing for Redbubble and thinking about maybe starting to sell printable wall art on Etsy, I made a tutorial yesterday that explains the sizes that you need to be using and you can find a link to that down below as well. And if you like this video, hit hit that like button on YouTube because whenever you like one of my videos, YouTube goes, oh, someone likes this video. This must be a cool video. I'll show it to more people. And as my channel is still growing, it's barely two months old, I can use all the likes that you have. And if you're new to the channel and you like this sort of content and want to see more, subscribe to my channel. That's it from me for today, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!